Hey guys, so I thought I'd show you exactly what I was talking about uh, when I was talking about the jumper uh, to set on this thing. So I'm quickly gonna just uh, unscrew this, show you. Uh, okay, so you take this uh, front piece off here, and then you can see that uh, there's mounting. And that's the button, you that noise was the button. That always seems to fall out. This button's pretty crappy. It's just like this little plastic piece that sits in place from the uh, front bezel. So anyways, now that we've got that unscrewed, I'm gonna want to take out these four. It's pretty simple. It only takes maybe like 10 minutes total to do this. All right, so then you take off this. Oops, hit the camera. And you can see that there is the uh, SATA connector, the uh, memory module, and two spots here for if you want to add Wi-Fi or an M SATA port as well. So then going from here, you need to just do these four. Uh, yeah, of course, the, the four here where the processor is, these four here. So luckily these are, <clears throat> they don't come all the way out, actually, I lied, they do come all the way out. But they're on those uh, tension springs, so you can't over tighten, which is nice. So then you can just pull up on this. And it just comes right out. So there you go. You can see they actually thermally grease this one not too badly here. Most of the ones I've seen um, aren't this well uh, therm thermally greased. So I might need, uh, I'll just add a little bit more to this one. But you can see here, um, yeah, so I think I was wrong in showing you where the jumper was. There's also a, a SIM card slot here. Um, oh, sorry, it's not SIM card, SD card. Uh, this is the jumper right here. Now I can't remember what position is which. Probably shouldn't be doing this without the heatsink on, but if my estimations are correct. I'm actually going to plug it in hot here, and you'll notice the LED lights. So you can see that it's plugged in. There's juice going through the power supply, but it did not turn on. Now, if I hit the power button right over here, you can see that it comes on. So the power state right now is not set to power on after power loss. I'll show you guys again. Nothing. And if I manually hit the button in the front here, there you go. So guys, you don't really want that. Uh, that is a big problem. Before I start here, so this jumper on the right-hand side is exposed. You can see it. Sorry. Can you guys see that? Probably focus too close for this thing. But right there, there's a jumper exposed. We're just gonna lift up the jumper and cover that one so the left pin is exposed. There's only three pins on this jumper. So now that one's exposed. Now I'm just gonna quickly show you guys. So no, I'm not BSing. Now I'm plugging it in. And light immediate. So that's what you want, guys. So, and then just vice, just basically uh, put it back together the way it was before. I don't know if I need to add a lot of thermal grease here. I think I will. That looks good to me. And basically just putting it back on here. So that's it. Just align those screws back. Uh, I just do a quick, <clears throat> I just do a, 
very loose tighten here first until I get them all back into place. And then, I mean, if you look at the build quality of the board, it's actually they're very, very well put together. Like the soldering joints, very clean. Uh, have not had one explode on me or overheat yet. Um, but the biggest uh, point of failure, I think, for these is going to be the power adapters, right? Because I don't know, obviously, don't know the quality. Now we can tighten down the CP. Now we can tighten. Uh, again, this button is kind of weird. I almost sometimes prefer like having the button recessed in the hole there because uh, I find that it's very easily, it's very easy to push this in. You can see that it's very, let me just put this in here. It doesn't require a lot of pressure. Uh, I'm going to leave it, I'm going to leave it on for now. But uh, I, I've debated uh, taking out that button and leaving the button, the power button recessed in there so it doesn't get pressed by accident. Because uh, you guys know, as well as I do, when you're in server rooms, moving stuff around or other people are in there doing stuff. The chances of uh, something being changed or hit by accident is very, very high. And auto power on. Okay, thanks for watching.